Job without them watching you constantly. Yeah, but they're the first ones to come. Yeah, but they gotta I know. put people in office, right? Yeah, but then they'll go into the town of their neighbor over class. Yes, and, and they will complain. Oh, okay. That's for simplicity purposes. That's good. That is true. Yes, that is true. Um, so welcome aboard. Were you on the select board before? I didn't know. This is your first go. Well, I keep telling everybody I wasn't ready. You weren't ready I wasn't until ready. you hit I guess that, I am now. that peak age, <laughs> prime. Perfect. All right. So um, we have meeting minutes from June 14th and from the 21st. So the, yeah, we do have to fix the TJ on this. Uh, no, no, those are past Our, meetings. So Eric. Be here. Oh, sorry. sorry, sorry. I left no. It says Carol attended twice. It just seems like you were here twice, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Carol attended, Carol attended. So I'm just going to um, do a little squiggly yep, and make here. that Eric McVeigh. Oh, he, was he here, though? No. On the uh, he 14th? Was, on the 14th, he was. He, he wasn't, wasn't here last week. Well, he wasn't there. Was he there on the 14th? I think so. Did he come late? I thought he missed the last two. We'll have to. I'm thinking last one. No, he was that one, but not the last one. Right. Joanna. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was here. He was here. Okay. Yeah. So, let's see. The 14th, he was here. He was not here the 21st. Are some of these. Double, hold on, I think. Oh, no, 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 you've got the select board and the finance motion. I understand. Sorry, I thought they were written double. Did some motion, we accept them as corrected. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Okay, fine. TJ, you'll abstain because you weren't here? That's correct. 
Okay. Um, meeting minutes. Do I have meeting minutes from the 21st? There may just, maybe I just am not looking at the right spot. Hold on. Yes, I do. I got them. I don't. You don't? They could be buried. They're not, it's not in order tonight. I was running late. You found them. And make a motion to approve the meeting minutes of June 21st, 21, um, as written. Second. Any discussion? No, but my question is, um, do these guys have to approve them as well? Oh, um, we should probably do for the 14th. There's nothing on the 21st. Oh, there is, transfer. yes. Um, okay, so Janet, if you guys want um, to, I'll bring them approved. over for her to sign. Twenty first and the fourteenth. Okay. Right okay. right right oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you want to make a motion to? Right, right. So what, what are the dates on those meeting minutes again? This is the 14th mm -hmm. and the 21st. So she wasn't here for the 14th, so she'd be abstained. Oh. And then okay. two, I don't see Janet here. But uh, Kathy. 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 Or Kathy, sorry. <laughs> I'll get Kathy in assignment. Yes. Right. <laughs> so I can't make a motion. <laughs> you can I'm, for the twenty first. She can she, vote, but she can't sign. And there's no quorum to approve the right. fourteenth. Oh, so they can approve the twenty first. Well, there's a quorum. Our, which is, wouldn't there be a quorum even if she's abstained? Right? I don't think so. I could be wrong, but. Okay. I don't know. What do you think about that, Mary? Well, she wasn't here until last week, right? Well, she was. We have a three member board and two are present. But you, they can't approve. She, she was absent, but she wasn't on the board at the time of the minutes. 14th, so they can't approve those, but they can approve the, for last week. Um, when she was on since the board. It's a joint meeting. Is it critical that, we, that right. both boards approve? No, I would say we just hold off on the 14th. Okay. And just have finance do that next time you meet. All right, I'll follow up later. Okay, so just hold on to it for Kathy. Hang on for Do you have a motion on the floor? Um, okay, so I make a motion because it was doing the 14th. Yes. yes. You're doing the 21st. The 21st. Oh, I'm so confused. Yes. Okay, so I make a motion for approval of the minutes for the joint select board and finance committee meeting on June 
Any discussion? Approval? Second. <laughs> All right. Um, any audience participation? Public comments? All right, so we got action items. Uh, review and take action between the town and Mass Munifin for Treasurer Collector Services. So this has been vetted and approved by town council. Yep. We reviewed it last week, the week before maybe? And it's in the amount we have budgeted. Right. And you, you didn't get a chance to review this particular contract, but it's now here it is in front of you. It was vetted by council, approved to form. Um, you'll see following the contract, there's an attachment A, which was the proposal, the scope that Sarah has submitted mm -hmm. um, in the procurement. And that's what we have. So this is going into year one of a three, of a possible three year commitment. Okay. So this contract is for the year and it's in the amount of $105,000. <laughs> for the next step of services from Mass Munifin. So it's, it, um, the, the important, uh, thing to note with this contract here or with this service going forward is that although the total amount for year one is 105, we're going to be planning for hiring either a part time, full time, mm -hmm. or what direction you want to go for year two. And the contract with Sarah, the services are going to, you know, be much lower than what we're getting going into the new fiscal year. Because this person, when they come in, they'll be able to choose, you know, how much support and help they'll, they'll need with the transition going into the, I don't know, what was on this year 23. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to be year one, we're, we'll enter with Sarah, but then we're going to start phasing out for year two and year three. Now, what about the uh, salary for Sarah? Is that going to diminish in year year two and year three. And there might not even be a year three. Mm -hmm. Now, depending on who we get and mm -hmm. how well they hit the ground running um, into the role, into the treasurer collector role and run the department. Mm -hmm. So in her proposal that she submitted, I think, I think it's in there. I think that's that's why, yeah, you'll see year three, it was left blank. There's nothing there. And year two, although it says 107,000, that's assuming we don't find anybody, right? And we, but when we do find somebody, and I feel confident that we can, mm -hmm. they'll be, she'll be able to say, all right, we're going to continue with payroll services, or you know, maybe we'll need her help for um, tax title process. That you know, that would be worth broken down mm -hmm. and subtracted from that 107. Although it says 107. We won't anticipate going into a contract for your two service for like in seven minutes. That's and so uh, my second question is is Sarah gonna be doing the interviews or are you and Sarah gonna be uh I haven't planned that far ahead. Oh okay. we'll probably come up with a some sort of a committee I would imagine to say I would want Sarah involved for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it'll be up to your direct your direction. We'll, we'll come up with a plan, and you ultimately provide the, the direction for and how you want to proceed with the search. She's Sorry, not she doesn't actually want to work for it. She's awesome. Yeah. I want her to contribute. Mary, question? Yeah, um, there's a, a form that you'll have to fill out that you can fill out for the position that you're looking for. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then it's in the bylaws approved by the state legislature. So yeah. It was the crazy way we had to get it passed. It's an interesting compilation. Um, any more questions about the contract? I would make a motion to um, approve the contract between the town and Mass Munifin for Treasurer Collector Services uh, sure. in the amount of 105000 okay, sure. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. All right. You're signing that right there. Yep, I got the original right there. 
All right, so next up we have a contract for, um, we're looking at with RRG for assessor services for the board of um, assessors. This is again, a continuation. Um, we've been working with them. They've been doing really great work for the last three years, has it been? Yeah, well, this is year three, year three. of the three-year contract. And just to clarify, this is an amendment to the contract, just okay. extending the term to year three. Okay. So the contract's the same, but every year they're annual renewals. Um, yep. So this just makes clear that we are agree to enter into uh, another year at the price of which was originally procured three years ago. Which is the so the price is the forty eight thousand eight hundred eighty, <clears throat> which is budgeted for next year. Sorry. And just to let you know. Harold and I, Harold's the principal assessor, the owner of our RG, have been going back and forth in emails. Um, I, you know, now that we're post COVID, and I told Harold that we expect someone in the office, as we did prior to COVID, um, at minimum once a week. Okay, so And, uh, you know, he's trying to renegotiate that. And I told him, hey, look, if you want to amend the contract term, let us know, but I did make clear to him that I don't think we're going to want anything different than that. We want someone at least once a week. He, you know, because we have the virtual access and the, online, that? Okay. and the online, mm -hmm. and the online, if you go from home to the Board of Assessors website, there's a live chat feature. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, his argument is because we have that, we shouldn't need anybody there in person. But there's always a lot of value when someone is in the office, focused in Blanford, working with the same. art assistants, with the truck. You know, yeah. there's, there's much more. And a lot of people don't want to touch it. Too. When they come in, I get yeah. customers. Yeah. I explain to them that they can use it and they don't want to touch it. Yeah, they'd rather talk to the person. Yeah, there's some people that are not really comfortable with the chat feature. Mm -hmm. I've seen that um, more often than not, actually. Yeah. So. We're working on that. We're, I'm going to see what he comes back with. I did tell him I'm moving forward with presenting this amendment to the select board at mm -hmm. tonight's meeting and hearing anything back from him. So if I do, I'll let you know. Okay. And for now, we'll just proceed forward. All right. So I will make a motion to approve the um, contract between the town and RRG for assessing services for the board of assessors um, in the amount of. $48,880. That's what it says under 2022. Um, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, just backing up a second, I would make a motion. Oh, actually, this is coming up. Never mind. Don't get ahead of myself. All right, so we got line item transfers. So now we're going to work with finance to make these happen. So we'll start with this one that has this breakdown there in front. Yep. Then we'll start with this one. That's a little cheat sheet I created for all the invoices that I have here. And it's to move money around from financial accounts, specifically around our last um, payments for Utilities, Eversource, mm -hmm. um, and uh, our final payments through June for um, mowing and cleanup. And you'll see two Tracy Allen bills and then a few of the tender bills. You might want to go be abstained from this one, Kara. Sure. Um, if you have any questions on any of those, I'd be more than happy to uh, go over and answer. Um. Departments are we paying? So, Old Town Hall expense. So that it's these are all board of our uh, board board of selectmen department. Oh, okay. So no, Old Town Hall expense, I oversee a couple of those bills. Um, town Hall utility line item, I oversee those bills, and then the Town Hall miscellaneous expense account. On behalf of the select board, I oversee those. So this is all select board accounts. And the mowing? Where does it happen? Is that your question? What department? 
So that we've pushed all those into the town hall miscellaneous. Okay. Yeah, so you'll see on the uh, breakdown, um, Molet Town Hall, Molet Post Office, Molet Veterans Park, uh, Molet um, Post Office, another one for Molet Veterans Park, because that was for, you know, mm -hmm. um, which are all overseen by the select post office. The Molen cleanup um, at, at, at Town Hall, select board. The Molen cleanup at Shepherd, Shepherd Hill Farm. The Molen cleanup at Dean Lot. Um, all select board department. So I was just looking at um, the what we did for last year. I'm just curious, Town Hall miscellaneous. Um, so we budgeted for 21, we budgeted 7,200. It looks like this year we budgeted 10,300. So we've increased it by, it looks like about how much we're needing to move. So I think we should be all set for next year. Hopefully. Was that the reason <laughs> for the increase? Already, I know. Yeah. Okay. So I try to average out. Uh, yeah. Right, so we averaged out um, what the mobile, the services provided, the cost spent, mm -hmm. and then we kind of came up with a guesstimate of how much we Would it spend make year. sense to separate that into a landscaping of town? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, just for, I don't know, keeping track of it better? I don't know. Well, so already, was our house in the right? Yeah, it just right. feels like every year yeah. it's a bit of a discussion. We're always moving money at the end of the year for it. So I don't know if it makes sense to. Um, well, I remember too, um, we're moving a little bit more in the tip where we talked about, like, for example, the Dean Lot cleanup. You see how high it is? We asked, but yeah. We asked them to clean up along yeah. the, the, the wall on the. Yes, and it looks awesome. Outside. Yeah. Right. So we. There are, there's a little bit more of the same thing with the tender. We asked them to do some. Which he didn't do yet. I actually told him to wait until next fiscal year. <laughs> I was oh, like, okay. wait until July. All right, so we'll do we'll that yet. So though that is the spring cleanup, or is that spring? No, summer cleanup. Okay. But he did. So there's um, a little bit more than, than yeah. you know, that we asked for. Yeah. But it's a moving target. I know. And like, it depends if it rains a lot. And I, I know it's kind of all over the place, but it might be easier to track if we have it in a set. Just going forward and planning our budget for next year, just a thought. So when we plan for fiscal year 23 finance committee, what we'll do is present a, a new line item solely dedicated for town mowing. And then that way it's separate. Do we could say mowing and landscaping, or do we want to? I mean, However. it's something you can talk about, but just because I know, like you and I were talking today about how at the memorial we want to landscape the around the statues, as where are they? Yeah, the mulching area a little bit, and then yeah, just curious. But did you have a question, Bob? No. No. Okay. Um. Okay. So go. Yeah. What are we gonna do about that? volleyball court or whatever i know that's watson park situation yeah um we had someone weed it last year i think we had dougie weed it um i don't know yeah, I had a treat it with a weed killer before we weed it. i think he did that i think we asked to do that yeah i don't know that's i guess that's sort of an area that we can brainstorm and see if anyone has ideas about um what they want us to do, we can put that out there because if people want the skating rink resurrected, then that's something we could do. But we would need like a committee that would be dedicated to caring for it, I guess, because it just kind of goes by the wayside. Do you have any questions on these? No, that was it. I mean, I know you're brand new. <laughs> and what we do, so what happens is, um, I think I explained this to you before May. Is what we would call uh, transfer season. <laughs> oh, it's yep. when legally you have the flex finance committee and the select board jointly have the flexibility to um, approve line item transfers. Um, uh, when we're outside of that period, it can only be done on town floor at a special town meeting or annual town meeting. But this is the only time we have that flexibility. So 
you know, when you put a budget together, it's always a moving target. There are guesstimates. Things change. Sometimes there's not enough money. Sometimes there's too much money. So this is at, at, at the point where we try to land our target to balance the accounts to zero to take care of our responsibilities so that we can go into the new fiscal year clean. That's what's going on. Thank you. Yeah, you got it. Sorry, um, and it hasn't always been a practice. Oh, I thought you <laughs> We used to just ignore that. Um, so I would make a motion um, to move, uh, let's see, $811.40 from the town council account to the old town hall expense account. Is there a second? Any discussion? All in favor? All right. Finance, Finance approved. Finance approved? Okay. Finance approved. Okay. Uh, motion to move from town council um, to town hall utilities, the amount of $596.21. Sure. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion to move from town council uh, to town hall miscellaneous expense, the amount of $3,287.00. Sure. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. I will, sorry, I will abstain from thank you, Josh, and Reiner from that vote. So I'm going to let you sign, Tom, there. Yes. And I'll pass it over to Janet. Uh, so next up, we have here, actually, I just I got the one under one more. Yes, this one here. Yep, this one from the Board of Health. And um, if you look at the all department expense report, <laughs> you'll notice that the transportation salary line item is currently at negative $539.90. And then we also have between now yeah. and June 30, so Jen and I sat down and, and Work on the numbers of what we need to okay. not only balance this, but also to make sure there's adequate funding there for to pay the transportation guys in the next payroll period. And that's accounted for in next year's budget? Yes. All right, so I would make a motion to be transferred from the Board of Health and Transportation Expenses to the Transportation Salaries, the amount of $1,232.92. Sure. Discussion, Mary? I was under the impression that you could not move money from expenses to the farm and then out of This is in this window, we can. In this window, we can. Mm -hmm. That's the only time okay. we can do it. Where the select board, I mean, the on town floor or in this window? This, this, this body has the power that town floor has when it comes to moving money around. But also, the general rule, it's a rule of thumb. We want to keep salaries with salary expenses. You know, as so you do what you can there, and then if there isn't any opportunity for salary for salaries, then you, you know, look at what you have left for expenses within that department budget. And then round three, right? If there isn't any money within that department budget, then you look at what other departments have and see if they can move money around to support the You know what I mean? They're just kind of general rules of thumb. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, next up, we have, I'd make a motion to appoint Sarah Hunter as treasurer tax collector for the term July 21 through June 30, 23. Oh, sure. Is there a second on that? Any discussion? All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Can I give that back to you? The one that has a change of the amount. Yeah. The board of health. Yeah. Here's one. Cross out. Name it today. Oh, I'm going to miss Eric. Oh, Lumen. Lumen. CJ. Cousin of C O U S I N E A U. You got it. Oh. 
but it gave me the big bucks. All right, um, summer meeting hours. Do we want to go to every other week in the summertime? What's our well, schedule yeah, look I, like? I thought about this this afternoon. I look at it this way. A lot of times we're going through, we're coming over here and going through this in an hour. Yeah, we're rocking and rolling. Yeah, so if we meet every other week for two hours, we're going to get the same amount of work done, and we'll have other every other week to think about something else. Go to the beach. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think, um, Josh and Joanne? You guys are our... the last time we did this. We said, yeah, every other week. But if there's stuff, right. yeah, then you know, like for example, coming July, July fifth, we're closed, so you'll meet July twelfth. Yeah. Theoretically, you wouldn't meet on the 19th, but we do have that financial forecast that we finish on the 19th. Okay. Um, so we'll meet 12th, we'll meet again on the 19th. We can probably start out, you know, any kind of schedule for every other week starting from there. Okay. As needed. So, um, so we would start every other week. We are meeting next week. No, we're not meeting next week. Because it's the fifth, you said. Okay, so we would start every other week. We'll meet the twelfth, but we do have to meet the nineteenth and take the twenty sixth. Yeah, unless you want me to meet that. I mean, that was the date we picked. Um, so it's in the accountant's calendar. It's in the Sarah. No, calendar. that's fine. That's why I'm okay. So we'll just take the twenty sixth then and start from there. I don't know what the finance committee present for that. I will be away on the 9th, so I won't be at a meeting then. August 9th. Okay, so um, would we make a motion to go to um, summer hours every other week starting, I guess we're starting technically this week because next week we're not meeting? Does that make sense? Say starting after the 19th. Okay, starting after the 19th. You could just say to the new fiscal year. Mm -hmm. Is there a second? Sure. Woohoo! Any discussion? So we'll do, so we're going to plan on meeting the 12th, 19th. Mm -hmm. Not about that. Mm -hmm. I have a question. All right, I'm going to delete the POS meeting for me on the 26th, and then I'll remember. Here it is. All in favor? Aye. Um, did you skip the appointment for Sarah, or was I out of the room? Uh, yeah, we appointed her. Okay. Oh, so that's, we're not going to have a meeting the day that I'm away. Yeah, Josh, I think that was the original agreement when we started the every other week. Was just something came up that we would come in here. Right. Just yeah. to take care of that. Right. Oh, and that works actually because that takes us off for Labor Day as well. Good timing. We'll we'll probably revisit and see what our calendar looks like. Uh oh, that puts us on for my anniversary. Though last year, both Josh and I, uh, and I forgot our anniversary. Yeah, children, so <laughs> about two weeks later, we went, wait a minute. We had an anniversary somewhere around there. Whose children are these? Are we going to do anything about this property over at the Oh, yeah. So we can let's talk about this for um, first. Let's do we have any unfinished business, Josh? A lot of unfinished. Nothing this is new business, business, I think. <laughs> Nothing at this moment. Okay, so so new business. Um, we got that email that you forwarded to us um, regarding the request from Peter Pappas um, for the property on what name is it? Brooklyn Drive. Brooklyn Drive. Yeah. So is Jason Ford working on that? No. So what's it about? 
Oh, okay. okay. So that, that's different. No, yeah, I've been on the line on that. No, they know. I haven't heard from Jason. That's all I've been able to do all the No, I don't have any updates for the phone. Okay, so we'll um, touch base about it next week. Yeah, so that email came in today. Yeah, did that just come in today? Was, yeah. No. So yeah, let's give, give Jason an opportunity to look at it, respond. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, know what he thinks of that. I thought you were talking about Sperry Road. Oh no, but yeah, I would love to update on that. What what is the situation? Oh, that's uh, uh, unfinished structure, and people living in an old house. And I guess the structure was supposed to be completed and half and then completed, and nothing's being done. So we'll give Jason a week to work with it and then we'll meet back. Um, unfinished business, you have an update on Sperry Road, Josh. Yes, I mean, um, we're still looking into it. So you know how we have our contract with um, RTIS? Mm -hmm. You go to the board of assessors web page. GIS mapping tool. Mm -hmm. So when you look at that map, um, there's there's this, this trace around the road that and there's like a cutoff which reflects the road of how we know it now. Um, it ends where it ends. Um, but Linda looked into uh, looked, looked into it further and found plans showing the road continuing beyond that line. Um, to you know how we understand how we understand the as far as mm -hmm. where it goes. Um, we were consulting with uh, the owner of that ArcGIS map, and he seems to agree that um, those plans, if the work plans are indeed true, that we have to be the road um, beyond that line. But what Linda from our RD is looking to turn us to research into and making sure that um, okay. that's indeed the case. So once I hear back, um, I can confirm if whether or not the road is uh, what's there currently. There's also, years ago, my wife was on a planning board, and they brought up and, and it was voted on that we wanted to develop a section of road such as that that nobody lived on. And you wanted to do anything to develop it, you had to fix the road. Now, this guy wants us to go in there and fix the road so he can sell the timber off the land. My feeling is to go back to that original bug law that's got to be around somewhere. Uh, if he wants to sell the land, let him fix the road. I don't know. It's not her office, maybe maybe that portion of the road was discontinued. Yeah. We researched that last year and the year before for um I believe the assessments and gave them all the information that we had. And that the road in fact was in to the point where the next one had. So we would be abut the road, but because there wasn't anything there, we didn't see anything there. Well, That's the hazy recollection. Now, Tommy, you're probably full of knickers, but when before the turnpike came through, did Fury Road come back to 
23 or did it? It started at 23 and went to Russell Stage. Came out right on that sharp corner. Okay. You go down there by Portland, right on that corner and look down to the right, you can see the old road. Okay, something like what the old road came out. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then you go out to where the turnaround is, and you can see where the old road went that way and down the hill. So I think that, you know, Tom has a good point. Do we want to spend forty or fifty thousand dollars of cap dollars to repair a section to enable this person to, to make money? Well, I mean it's it's to log the road. I mean on one hand he purchased he purchased the land yeah. in Blanford, believing that he would have access to it so that he could log, which is fake. Um and so I want I don't want to discourage people from purchasing land in mm -hmm. for, for whatever. Um but I, we that is something we're gonna have to visit is is this and, and what's what's our priority on this? Like well, it's certainly not our priority for I went down there last week, but uh, and you know, yeah, it, it was gonna be houses out in there and maybe two buses out in there. I can see where it would cost fifty thousand dollars to fix it, <clears throat> but to fix that road for a log truck, uh, send the grader in when it's dry and shape it up, and fix a culvert so the log truck won't get through them. You think we can do it for cheaper? Yeah. yeah. So I guess that yeah, there's a couple of questions. I I don't want to say you know, just because you're using this land for profit, we don't feel like we need to help you because he's a taxpayer and, yeah. you know, so. That, what we would be doing is building, building a temporary road, you know, seasonal yeah. road. Yeah. And uh, I would think that for logging, if they want to log it in the winter, it'd be frozen up anyway. So it'd hold them up. And in the summer when it's dry, it would hold them up. I wouldn't want to see him going there and spraying right. yeah. a lot of trouble. But Coming up the uh, I, I think if we if we do in fact on the road, then we have to jump on it. So let's hope we don't. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see what happens if we do. So but if we do, you're talking about a, uh, some sort of temporary yeah, isolation. Now, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, that would be nice yeah, to see. Awesome. And, and my guess is, if he does log it, it can potentially be sold to someone that wants to develop there, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's take this one step at a time. If he's going to log it, we can throw a couple of coals in there and scrape the road. You're looking at it probably. Two days of good work. Would uh, the DOT will have their their lines, but I don't know about what the road is or was. Well, I would think it would show town road versus. Right, it'll show where they built the new road, yeah. Well, this is not. Yeah. But they're still at no man's land. Okay. okay, so we'll touch base next week and see, or the week after, see if we have any more info. See, like this was a Based on the plan provided, it appears that the road should, in fact, continue past where it's currently shown in the tax plan. Of course, I'm only making an assumption based on the plan provided. Our need for the property in question available, and that we're going to send you something. Okay. That's where we are. Okay. Um, so we're on new business. Uh, new business. What else do we have? Or Question pencil here? in the air. We have, we have a problem with the library. Oh, yes. I witnessed that. Unfortunately, there's some reading trouble and we have a whole lot of kids over there. We need to do something immediately. And John Hoffman came up yesterday and paid the green, went through at least 15 feet. The toilet flushed.
washed about four or five times before that type of thing. And he said we need to check and make sure that the septic tank is not full. Okay. So I called Bruce Cooper. He was going to stop this afternoon after the program. Okay. And as of five o'clock, he hasn't shown up yet. I think I'm going to call and just see what happens. Is there, um, is there, I think there's someone else that doesn't come too. Yeah. Um, yes, that is a priority because you had like 25, 30 people in the <laughs> go bathroom and most of them were this guy. So. Yeah, and, and what happened is people have been directed to the library to use the facility and we've been so careful yeah okay okay um is there anything you need from us to, right yes. now i said to nicole if it becomes like it's going to take a few days and you guys needed us to look into the price of like a white wolf porta potty or something just let no, us know no, i mean okay. it would really suck in 90 degree heat to have a porta potty mm -hmm. and on the pavement there but um if you need it then just let us know because i know somebody getting into that <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, really was a, uh it was really a bummer that um the store wasn't open today because we had about 20 something kids that really wanted some ice cream yeah, it's too bad. It would have been probably. I was going to walk over, but the minute I parked and stepped out of that car, I was oh, like, yeah. Heck no. <laughs> too high. Yeah. Too high. I was yeah, they had a lot of fun. Um, Hazel Holman came and talked about, um, she brought her dog and she talked through a dynamic game at the vet with the dog. And um, she had some different things, talked about, you know, a healthy pet. And then um, the kids made little stuffed animals. Um, and had to formally adopt them and swear to feed them all summer. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a good turnout. Charlotte's starting to feel a little too old. She's over there giving me the stink eye in the corner, but they had fun. That's good. Um, yeah, thank you. And I reached out to, um, and I heard back from two people, I think, about the meeting for next week. So I'll keep you posted with the business model for yeah. downtown. Any other business or wow? Look at us. Uh, so yeah. Have we heard anything on the top of mountain? Hmm. No, nothing. So what we um, talked about doing was uh, sending you a letter uh, for reimbursement. Randy and I have been working on uh, getting the financial figures in order mm -hmm. so that we can use. Um, uh, speaking with Senator Hines' office, you know, Senator has been really pushing on uh, trying to make advocating for uh, recreational opportunities. We would love to see or continue to support the town trying to uh, gain more recreational opportunities with this world, if not um, starting the conversation of how we can work together and, and support recreational activities i was very clear with them that i didn't think they have any interest in doing that but you know i seem interested in having that conversation to see where it goes because i i, I talked to one of the uh, people a couple of weeks back and uh, they were kind of hinting very strongly that sprinkler water and sewer is a private entity from and then I asked the question, well, how can you have state plates on your vehicle, you know, that are registered to the city of Springfield, which I got no reply, but they're an enterprise. They're no different than um, like for water power. So therefore, if they're a private enterprise, they're, they're, they're taxable. And we should be getting one in the stipend. 
It's always been a thorn in my side. So. so I know you and many others. Yeah. Um, no, I was just curious how, how we we're making out, but I think the sooner you get that out there, the sooner that, you know, people are going to start thinking. Yeah. But as of right now, so the public knows, um, we are not maintaining the management out of the way anymore. So, anybody that lives on top of Mount Hill that does not follow or, or anything, going to get messy. You know, the, state, the pressure on that. Okay, I have a question. Not all the No, yeah, no, no, that's great. We've got to keep asking the questions and putting more pressure. Oh, yeah, I'm say, no, I've got a book of matches. So. Uh, that is, no, that's all right. I just wanted, I was curious. That's what that was. Yes. It was a, I thought it was a little dog. I was looking for a person. So they had a, a fox all year. It was like running around our campus in Southwick, the three schools. And they also had baby groundhogs underneath the little, um, little something out back of school. And <laughs> the last week of school, she's like, we saw the fox eating a beef groundhog today. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All the kids yeah, were watching it. Oh, I'm just going to be crying. She's like a couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Maybe I can bring the fox up here to my porch. Yeah. All right. Meeting adjourned then. Uh, oh, you got your old apartment. Oh, we've got your old apartment. <laughs> Well, I see a couple of uh, the negatives that we haven't done. Yeah, so I uh, it's not on my listen, it's not a, oh, it is on my the uh, those are yeah, those are being taken care of. Those will be classification and other methods. Um, there are three different salary related accounts that are in the negative, very short change um but i've already connected with those departments and provided an alternative strategy to get that balance so it doesn't require a lot of transfer we got some money left in treasurer expense i think it is Ooh, 19 and tax free though pound town council more fun. areas I'm going to be yep, moving. Planning fiscal year yeah. <laughs> oh, planning oh, board. Oh, You're not invited to the <laughs> planning board. I don't like that. I get bothered by that. When people come, I have $10,000 expense on it. They only really need $3,000. Listen, sorry, so sad. Spend it or lose it. Um, what about the planning? Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, that's something we're gonna have to resolve on. Town floor. I don't have the specifics in the town life, but as they explain to me all the time, it's like they're speaking a third language. <laughs> I understand that. I get that from you a little bit. There's, there's a few line items that have been carrying over with that. And I did present at the um, Department of Society of Health and Cleaning Things Up. So what they explained to me is that eventually as they continue to look at there are a couple of items, line items that we're gonna have to draw on top of those that are balanced. Okay. Um that's one of them. Okay. All right. I don't think there's really anything that stands out as a concern. Good. For your next meeting, mm -hmm. if you want to start having a conversation, we were going to put in our agenda just a good habit to put it in your um, voting of the chair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just get, you know, people to help you call in. Yep. Get somebody that's interested, get them to see you. Okay. Sounds good. 
You did? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just curious because when I went to the for everybody's for everybody's information, 10 30 tomorrow morning, the new fire truck is supposed to be in town. Oh cool. That's very cool. So at, uh, it's going to be registered Wednesday, and uh, it'll it'll be in service as a water uh, The holes for it and everything hasn't come in yet. As soon as that comes in, we'll load it, and it'll be a bumper tanker. But uh, to start off with, for a certain amount of time, it's just going to be a water hauler. But uh, I think the town is going to have a pretty good piece of equipment. Look nice in the parade, too. Yeah. Very cool. Well, we'll have to include that in our opening of the Lamford uh, event so people can see the new. Vehicle. All right, I'm just creating a calendar. All right, we're good. We're good. Meeting adjourned at three of seven. All right. Three of seven. We did the uh, fairground thing this weekend. It was really nice. There was the touch of truck mm -hmm. in Granville, and um, there was National Guard, the Humvee there. And mm -hmm. yeah. It was really nice. The kids had fun. And then the 